This question is one that comes up quite a bit about chipping. So rather than just the person, I keep chipping, I keep tending to mishit it. So I hit it a little fat, I hit a little thin. So shots are all about confidence. So we're always talking about path and face control, and then you bring in angle of approach. So this has helped a ton of people to learn how to chip the ball, or even little pitch shots. So I've got this first ball set here, and I'm going to hit a pitch shot, but look how high the ball, I mean the ball's teed way up. So there's no ground involved. So you're not afraid of hitting the ground. So we're going to make the same move. Now it's teed a little bit lower, but because it's teed up, people aren't worried about hitting the ground. What's interesting, when you watch their swing circle, it's almost perfect. But because they're not afraid of the ground, they don't end up with all the weird stuff. So now it's still teed up a little bit, and I hit a good shot. Now the ball's sitting on the ground, I hit a good shot. So it's about consistently hit the ball with the face, gradually bring the ball closer and closer to the ground. That has worked with chipping dramatically with a lot of people because they get confidence. On the big, the higher tee, when the ball's teed up, you say, just go ahead and chip it from there. Are you okay with that? And they go, well, yeah, that's easy. Okay, well, let's see you do it. All of a sudden, all of the mechanics seem to work because they're not afraid they're going to hit the ground. Then just like every other shot, now we go down a little closer to the ground. But because it's teed up, people go, well, that's easy. I can chip it off. I can chip it off a tee. We'll see. That ball was just barely off the ground, but it's incredible how much better they are. Now, the last one, a lot of times I'll even put the ball on a tee, but I push the tee so far down that that ball is actually sitting on the ground. So I've pushed the tee below the level of the ground. Because they think the ball's on a tee, they go ahead and hit it and they hit it well because they think they're not going to hit the ground. Okay, so when it comes to chipping, when you're working on your chipping or your pitching, go ahead and start off a tee and then gradually lower it to the ground. And, and you'll be amazed when you get the confidence that you can hit it as the ground keeps getting closer and closer to the ball. A lot of times people just get better. The other thing it does, most people when they chip or pitch, they rest the club on the ground. So they rest the club on the ground like this. So when they swing and their arms start to straighten out, they hit it fat. As soon as you put the ball up on a tee, what do they do? They don't set the club on the ground. So because they pick the club up to, to aim it at the back of the ball, they start to find the bottom of their swing arc. So they start to set up correctly. A lot of good things come from that little drill, full swing and with chipping and pitching.